Okay, people, minus 11. Let's go. Time to harvest ice vine. I'm really happy when the year's over, when the harvest's over, when the grapes are in the cellar, and then when an early frost sets in, like now, minus 11 degrees Celsius, about 12 degrees Fahrenheit, then we can harvest totally healthy, completely ripe grapes while they're frozen to make ice vine. Of course, I could be at home now, sitting on the couch, but I'm really happy to be able to be in the vineyard during this wonderful ice vine weather. The ideal scenario for an ice wine harvest is when you watch the weather forecast and know that tomorrow morning it'll be minus 13 or minus 15 Celsius, 8 to 5 Fahrenheit, and you can do an ice wine harvest during a perfect sunrise, with lots of mulled wine, coffee and cake. That didn't work out this year. This year was full of suspense. We constantly check various weather channels on the internet. How will the weather be? When will the temperature fall? When will the temperature rise? We twittered back and forth and chatted on Facebook. I exchanged views with other colleagues, and then at very short notice we decided we'd pick grapes for an ice vine at 10 o'clock this evening. That was exciting. It was really good. The last few grape pickers weren't allowed to return to Poland right away. They had to stay here and wrap grapes still on the vine in protective sheeting during the most miserable November weather. The plastic sheeting is there so that birds and wild boar don't devour the grapes. This is the last bit of sweetness left around here, and we want to harvest it, not the animals. That's why we've covered them. Ice wine is wine made from grapes that are picked and pressed while frozen. That means the grapes hanging on the vines must really be frozen, like tonight. We harvest them, press them while frozen. Why? Simply because the frozen water in the grapes remains left behind on the press and everything else, namely the components, the secondary plant substances, the sugar, all the aromas and flavors, they're pressed out, while the water's left on the press as a frozen block of ice. And this results in the highest concentration, the most natural concentration of aromas and flavors, and thus the most concentrated and best way to experience pleasure. It's always said that ice vine is expensive, but ice vine isn't expensive. We would normally harvest 3,000 litres of wine here, but now, due to the concentration, maybe we'll harvest 200 litres, if we're lucky. But we gladly leave some grapes on the vine for ice vine because it's simply fun and makes fantastic wine.